gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. It was the absolute plan of God that this couple is here now. God, in his infinite love, wants to give us, his children, only the best. It has been a great blessing for Saul and Maria to find each other. God has a plan for each of us. He declares in his word that though his thoughts are not our thoughts, nor his ways our ways. Saul, Maria, it is this day you take a giant step of courage and commitment to love, understand, and grow. When a commitment this strong is made by two people, the force of that commitment, of that love, of that courage, reaches out and touches all of us around you, so that our lives are changed and we share a part of your love. Like a stone dropped in a still pond, the ripples of the love from this celebration will extend and change the world we live in. This lasso that Corey and Sandra are putting around your soul shoulders symbolizes the unity of love, binding the two together in God the Father. Just as the Trinity is one unity bound together in a spiritual bond, just so Saul and Maria are bound together exclusively to one another. No one outside this lasso is permitted the intimate privileges that are found in marriage. Saul, if you would repeat after me. I, Saul. I, Saul. Take you, Maria. Take you, Maria. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to obey till God. And to obey to God. By death to separate us. By death to separate us. And there too. And there too. I pledge my faith. I pledge my faith. So I'll, with, with, with this ring, will you promise to take Maria to be your wife, to live together after God's principles in the holy estate of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only to her so long as you both shall live? I do. And place that ring on her finger. Maria, with this ring, will you promise to take Saul to be your husband, to live together after God's principles in the holy estate of marriage? Do you promise to love him, encourage him, honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, keep you only to your, him so long as you both shall live? I do. You may place that ring on his finger. Maria, con este anillo, prometes tomar a Saul como tu esposo. And now having heard you make these pledges of your affection, and take these vows of fidelity. I do by the authority conferred upon me as a minister of the gospel and the laws of this state, pronounce you husband and wife, no longer two, but one, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Señor y Señora Saúl Flores.
Saul, I know you to be a kind, steady, and an honest man. You're the kind of man that Maria deserves. I know in my heart that her mother would wholeheartedly approve of you. And she's here with us celebrating, embracing you guys. My only advice for you two is to enjoy the quiet moments, listen intently to each other, and love each other with humble hearts. And also remember to forgive readily. <laughs> so let's raise a glass to the bride and groom for the first toast and wish them a lifetime of love and happiness. Salud! Salud! Saul, you know, he, he cleans the house this one day. Perfect clean. Never knew Saul could clean before. And uh, he's like, I'm bringing this girl over. And so, uh, you know, we live with a few guys, and what do we do? We turn the house upside down. We take everything apart, glasses out of the cupboard on the floor. We flip the couch over. We took the chair apart. Um, we stage it like a burglary. And, uh, you, know, you know, Saul knew how to clean, and this girl must be special for him to, you know, spend that time to make sure the house was that good. So, so if you can make it through 2020, and all the you know crazy times that have happened, then you guys are gonna do just fine. So, yeah. And basically, I hope you guys have a great marriage. I'm so happy to be here, and it, it means so much to be a part of this special, beautiful day. So, to Marie and Saul, salud. So close to 11 years ago, we, I walked into my little dorm room. Uh, I was unpacking all of my things. And Maria walks in and she looks at me and she opens her arms up wide and says in her very Maria way, can I hug you? <laughs> and from then on, I knew that this was going to be a bond that was not only unique, but irreplaceable. And Maria bursts through the door. She prances in and she's like, you guys, this guy in my class wants to take me to go get lemon drops. <laughs> so of course, Kat and I did a full background check and then we gave him our blessing. And since that day, they haven't spent any time apart and he's loved us unconditionally, like we were his own best friends. And something that I think we, everyone here can agree on is that Maria and Saul are both incredible people. They light up every single room that they walk into, and the energy that they bring together as an item is both unique and something so special that I think all of us aspire to have in our love lives. Now that you're officially husband and wife, let's all cheers to you on this next chapter of life. <laughs> 